Hi, I'm Matt Knoll, Assistant Professional here at Huntington Country Club, and today we are going to give you some fourth hole tips and practice procedures. Just to give you an overview of what we have to offer here on the fourth hole, if you look to your left, here's our chipping green area where we say 20 yard max shots to avoid big ball marks on the green, and also we have three practice bunkers. And on our right over here, we have a 70 yard pitching range with a variety of targets and also two sand traps protecting a mini pitching green. There are approximately three stations set up every day. Each station has a bucket of golf balls, an alignment stick, a club washer, and a ball retriever. There are also divot mix boxes located around the practice area. Please remember to you know, fill in your divots, use the straight line divot patterns like we like we mentioned and showed you in the other videos and, and try to keep this place kind of neat how you found it. We recommend that uh, we limit our shot use to about you know 10 to 15 shots then go retrieve the balls you know that way when, when people come to use it the golf balls are readily available. Time for the Matt Knoll bonus tip of the day. Anytime you're around the green, we want to get a little weight on the lead foot. This is going to help that downward hit. We know when we hit down, the ball goes up, right? So we want the ball in the center of your stance, a little weight on your front foot. Swing the arms, hit down, ball through. After my practice is done, I'm going to fill in my divots. Pick up the golf balls that I hit. and rake any bunkers that I might have used during my practice session. A clean fourth hole practice area is a happy fourth hole practice area. Please see the golf shop for any other questions or concerns.